Let me turn to Ivan Eland. He's a senior fellow at the Independent Institute, a nonprofit research organization focused on social and economic issues. Ivan, I got to begin by asking you what Michael Flynn do you believe meant when he said we're putting Iran on notice in such a dramatic fashion? Well, I think they're trying to do a symbolic warning to Iran that they don't want them to do these tests. They haven't been doing, have been doing the tests. But of course, he's not alleging that they violated the nuclear agreement, which Trump has said he doesn't like, but he's saying they violated this uh, UN Security Council resolution, which states that they can't uh, develop or test missiles uh, that have the capacity of carrying nuclear, nuclear weapons. Oh. But of course, Iran says, that we didn't violate that because these are just defensive missiles. So if the United States or the UN is saying one thing, if Iran is saying another thing, so how do you know who's telling the truth? Well, I think the U.S., if they're alleging that uh, Iran is violating this, they need to come up with some evidence. And uh, the world will look to that uh, to see what evidence they can produce. Ivan, do you believe now with Donald Trump as the president of the United States, the military option is back on the table when it comes to Iran? Well, it's, you know, it's hard to say what's going to happen, but I think they want to, I, I think, uh, you know, he wants to take a harder line position toward Iran, but on the other hand, his campaign said he wants to stay out of some of these wars. Well, I don't know, in Syria, he is already creating safe zones, which could lead to uh, a problem with Russia, so who knows, they could ramp up the, uh, rhetoric and stuff against Iran. But I think he's going to get a lot of pushback from Russia and other con China and other countries, Germany, who uh, signed this nuclear deal and that, that they... Yeah. And that nuclear deal, Ivan, wasn't just with the United States. Right, it was right, with P5 right, plus one. Right. Um, everybody agreed to this agreement. Do you believe the reason Iran is sort of being provocative could also be because of Trump's tough language towards Iran? He said this nuclear agreement was the worst agreement ever, and he wants to rip it. Well, I think some of the hardliners in Iran might want to sabotage the agreement. And also, I think Iran is mad over this visa uh, and uh, immigrant uh, restrictions. For, yes, because they're, they're, of all the countries, of the seven countries, they have the most people affected by it. And I think that this might be an answer to that as well. I have to ask you about Rex Tillerson, confirmed now as the new U.S. Secretary of State. Uh, what do you believe will be his top priority. Obviously, he has to handle relations with China, Russia, Ukraine, and Iran. Yeah, I think all, I'm not sure what's going to be the top priority, because I think it may be driven by a crisis that, uh, you know, is, for, is created by the administration or comes from uh, uh, far afield that we don't know about. So I would say Iran could be up there because they may take a harder line position. We'll see what they do in Ukraine because it seems like the Ukraine is going to be a test because he wants to improve relations with Russia, yet uh, the f this fighting is intensifying in Ukraine. So that could be another possibility as well. All right, Ivan Elon, a lot to talk about. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. Thank you.